Hey y'all, welcome to Lion's Den Tarot. My name is Camille and I'm doing a daily tarot for all signs and that is every sign in the zodiac for February the 5th, 2022. Now you guys keep in mind, timing is fluid, okay? So if it fails to resonate with you for February 5th, it can still resonate in the future. And y'all already know I am a big believer in everything happens for a reason. So if you are here and you are watching this, it's something you need to hear. So keep an open heart and keep your mind open, okay? We start with the Work Your Light Oracle deck. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, and the Moon Rod. What do we need to know? February 5th, 2022. Thank you, Angels, for your guidance. Thank you, Spirit Guides, for being with us. Thank you, Moon Rod, for guiding us. And leading us, molding us. What do we need to know? All right, I almost dropped the card, y'all. Okay, so the Work Your Light Oracle deck is starting us off. And play. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. It's time to go have some fun. Play. Get out and celebrate. Angel Oracle Deck. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, and the Moon Rod. What else do we need to know? February 5th, 2022. February 5th. All right, y'all. So we are going to go ahead and cut these cards and see what we get. Big happy changes. All right. Y'all see that angel? Beautiful, too. Big happy changes coming. All right, we got the Ancestor Spirit Oracle deck. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, and what? The Moon Rod. What else do we need to know? February 5th, 2022. February 5th, 2022. Excuse me. <laughs> that might be a sign. Y'all need to play and have some fun. Take you a break and have some fun. All right. So the Ancestor Spirit Oracle deck wants to add to the reading. Be thankful. Gratitude, appreciation, and harmony. Be thankful. All right. And the Spirit of Nature Oracle deck. So the Spirit of Nature Oracle deck is adding to the reading. Gorse. Gorse. All right. And let's pull some tarot. The Affirmator's Tarot deck. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, and the Moon Rock. What else do we need to know? What do we need to know? February 5th, 2022. Alright, so the Affirmator's Tarot deck is adding to the reading. 
Nine of Cups, the Genie of the Tarot deck. Water Energy. Nine of Swords. Oh, so we got two nines. Nine of Swords, feeling confused and stuck. It's okay. And we got the Lovers. We got the Lovers for to February 4th, too. Oh, look at that. All right. Let's go ahead and get into this reading. Play. It's an action card, of course. Stop taking life so seriously. Your spirit needs to have some fun. The more you play, the more inspiration will follow. Take some time out to do something without being attached to the outcome. You are being called to rest and play and learn to have more fun. Do something that makes you laugh. The best medicine around. Call up a friend that you can be silly with. Take your inner child on a date. The more you switch off your mind, the more room your spirit will have to whisper and guide. When we do things without being attached to the outcome, ideas, clarity, guidance, and solutions have the space to drop in. The left and right hemisphere of the brain can begin talking to each other. Make play a compulsory part of your day. Schedule it. Spend more time doing things that just because you love to do them. Just because they bring you joy and light you up. If you follow what lights you up and you light up the world without even trying, for when you are lit up, you are in your spirit. And when you are in your spirit, you fall into flow with life. How do you play? What do you do to have fun? What lights you up? If you have been working hard lately, it's time to celebrate how far you have come, all that you've achieved. Don't rush on to the next thing. Take a moment to throw a party. Go on vacation and have some fun. All right. And big happy changes are coming. Big positive changes are coming into your life. You may find yourself on a new career path, entering a new relationship, or moving to a new home or city. Embrace these exciting events, knowing that your angels will be beside you all the way. What you are asking about may require some leaps of faith that seem frightening or beyond your ability. But trust that the opportunities before you are meant to bring you happiness. These op options would not have presented themselves unless you were ready for them. Release your fears and follow your heart. Okay. And then we've got be thankful. The Balinese philosophy of life is called Tri Hita Karana. Tri means three. Hita means happy. And Karana means way. And together they describe three ways to be happy or three causes of well-being. The first cause, Parayang, refers to the harmonious relationship between humans and their gods. Parayang also links three good behaviors. Trikaya Parsuda, which teach people to think good, speak good, and apply good manners. The second cause, Paolongong, refers to harmonious relationships between people. This teaching is about being respectful of others and maintaining good relationships. The third cause, Paolongong, refers to the harmonious relationship between people and the environment. To maintain harmony in all three areas of the Trihita Karana, the Balinese people express gratitude in their daily activities through prayer and offerings to their deities. To live in harmony with other people, the Balinese share food with and make offerings to their neighbors, showing their gratitude to foster peaceful relationships. To maintain environmental harmony and balance, they give thanks to the plants and nature around them. The ancestors speak. Oh, they also try to keep a balance in their own environment as well. The ancestors speak. In this busy world, it can be hard to remember to appreciate the positives. This card is a reminder of how important it is to appreciate your loved ones, both past and present. Even though there are difficult times, try to be grateful for the lessons that challenges have taught you. Wisdom can come from hardships. The tough times have made you the resourceful and resilient person you are today. And the ancestors speak. Or the divinatory meaning, my bad, y'all. Appreciate the food, shelter, clothing, water, and clean air you have access to each day. 
Connect with your family, friends, and loved ones. Love them for who they are. Do something you enjoy and be grateful for the pleasure it brings into your life. Also, remember to say thank you to the universe and your spirit guides for all their help. Okay? And then we've got Gorse, the Spirit of Nature Oracle deck. The green man's wisdom. Fertility wakes a fire in the mind. Okay. This refers not only to the earth's fertility or that of humans and animals, but also to the mind's productiveness. For the green man suggests that the richness of human imagination awakens in a, awakens a fire in the mind. The fertility of the earth and human inspiration are linked in other ways. Many of our most inspired moments take place in landscapes dear to us. Gorse, Gorse's vitality and energy link it with the strength of life itself in all its aspects. Wherever it grows, it encourages us to listen to our creative instincts and to tend to the fertile garden of our imagination. In doing this, we can find happiness and the answer to all kinds of problems. Just as the ecstatic profusion of gorse inflames the land, so the impulsive connection between the ideas in our heads set up its own passionate dance in our lives. All right, let's get into it. The Nine of Cups, water energy. The genie of the tarot is handing out grants and you don't even have to apply. This card augurs every type of wish fulfillment and its bearer, which is you, is about to enjoy a streak of luck and success. But don't let that turn into laurel resting. This genie requires that you also put in a bit of work to achieve your goals, being that you are part of the earthly reality and all. So stay active and grounded while you continue your joyful spree of daydream manifestations. And remember, the abundance train runs on gratitude. So keep scooping it up by the shovel full. Here's the affirmation. Wondrous possibilities are at my fingertips and I will bring them into existence. In other words, I'm the man of festor. All right, then we got nine of swords. You worrying too much, don't worry. Keep a clear focus. Yikes. It looks like you're hacking your way through a force of negative emotions that have all sprouted from the same seed, over worrying. What started as basic workaday anxiety about the future seems to have worked itself up into a paralyzing web of panic, apocalyptic despair, and relentless self-torment. The good news is these feelings have absolutely nothing to do with actual reality. In other words, relax. This is all your fault. See that? Relentless. The solution? Take a few hundred deep breaths and notice that not only are you fine, but if not fine and a half in this moment, your little mental shop of horrors isn't doing anything for anyone. Least of all, you. So go easy on yourself. Watch a Pixar movie and save the despair from when things actually hit the fan. Here's the affirmation. My life is better than I realize. So I stir a heaping cup of trust into this foreboding angst soup. Really brings out the coriander. Okay. And then we've got the lover's card. It's all about loving on yourself. So you've drawn a card that makes you mouth the word lovers, have you? Well, friend or soon to be lover. This is actually wonderful news. More than just a symbol of romantic love, this good omen is emblematic of a healthy, loving relationship with yourself as well as the outside world, which in turn breeds glowy, expensive feelings all around. And those, of course, could very well lead to a fulfilling, soulful love connection. But why don't we just start by taking the outside world out for coffee. Here's the affirmation. I relate to others with an open heart and positive state of mind with no exceptions and no requirements, but maybe a little or maybe even lots of hope. 
Okay, now let's just get into this reading, y'all. Big, happy changes are coming, and you will be so thankful for all those happy changes. Just make sure you're staying thankful for what you're going through right now, okay? Because it's time for you to relax, play, have some fun. Stop worrying so much about what you don't have. Focus on what you want and what you need, and that is how you will obtain them, okay? You have got to get some relaxation in so you can clear your mind and get your mind fired up so you can go towards these big happy changes that you have coming towards you and you have to make sure that you got to remember refrain from blocking those changes okay you got to be mindful that you may have to take a risk you may have to take a leap of faith but just know that you have the genie of the tarot deck with you all you have to do is believe Believe it here in your mind. Manifest it and speak it here with your words. Then you put in the action. Okay, remember the genie says, you got to put in the action because you are part of the earthly reality at all, right? So you've got to make sure that you maintain those actions that you're doing. Never give up. Stop over worrying and make sure you love on yourself. Tell yourself every day that I got this. Tell yourself every day that I know I can build this. Tell yourself every day that this is what makes me happy and this is what I will do. And you will start to see rewards. You will start to see big happy changes from that. But you have first got to be thankful for the gifts that you have and you have got to be thankful for what you are going through right now because it is opening you up. It is opening you up. So take a break. Have some fun. Play. That will help reignite the fire in your mind for you to get to work because these big happy changes are coming your way. They're coming in fast. And you just got to make sure that you keep yourself grounded and keep yourself loving on you, most importantly, okay? Never forget that. Continuously keep loving you on yourself it's the most important thing okay y'all thank you so much for coming to lions and tarot y'all make sure y'all follow me on instagram it's lions underscore den underscore tarot and please subscribe to my youtube channel it's camille in the lion's den if you would like a personal reading with me the information is in the comments below thank you guys so much for bringing me your energy and start start working your mind Big heavy changes are coming for you, but you just have to be the one to stay on your grind. <laughs>